I am staying with us now. Every year on April 1st, we observe April Fool's Day. It is the official day of all the jokesters to crack their lame and funniest joke or pranks on people around them. Now, the origin of this day dates back, as, um, back to 1582, when French shifted from the Julian calendar to the uh, Gregorian calendar. So, Uti, have you ever pranked anyone? Or what's your mo most memorable prank <laughs> that they played on you? Which one? So, the prank wasn't mine. Mm. Um, my sister and her husband are like the king and queen pranksters of my family. So, my, um, my, my brother-in-law uh, was at home. Or rather, my sister was at home. My brother-in-law had traveled and was coming back on that on April 1st. Mm. So my sister packs a bag and puts it in the living room. Mm. So as soon as he walks in, she goes, your girlfriend is here. <laughs> so, come, and come. She had the guts to come to my house. Come and, and he's like, um, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. And he's like, don't worry, she's coming. And it was my brother-in-law. Thank God that Ma was a jitsu. I told her, you're bored. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was close to passing out. There he doesn't have a girlfriend. Don't know what he's talking about. Who is the person? Who did she let into the house? And then everybody comes out laughing. The man literally had changed. Oh, it got blue. But my sister is like, they were the king and queen. They just had endless pranks like that uh, in their house. So I have a friend, Timmy Adibulube. Um, she's in, she lives in Lekina, when we mm -hmm. used to live together in Makodo. Mm -hmm. So I can't remember what it was we did. Oh, but we, fate was literally scared to her bones. <laughs> like after that day, when I pranked my sister, I said I would never prank anybody. Because literally, if she had maybe high blood pressure, she would have no, just actually <laughs> died. I can't remember what it was we did, but it was you so bad. You remember the effect. I, I remember <laughs> the effect. It was so bad. So after that day, I said, I'm nah, not doing it again. Nah. I, I so I leave it for I'm all just, the pranks then. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I'm not sure mm. that I'm a prankster. <laughs> you know, but it's so interesting. People that have their birthdays today, people that have their wedding anniversary. I have mm. a friend that's her birthday today. I have a friend that's her wedding anniversary, 15. Yes, when did the anniversary today? Oh, wow. I keep saying that. Why did you choose April first to get back? <laughs> like people, were you planning that people would think it's April Fool, so they will not they come? Will not come. <laughs> <laughs> brave woman, brave yeah, woman. Yes, so very brave. All right, so what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so um, I'll take the first story, mm -hmm. which is a little sad, um, and that says Nigerian beauty queen, PhD student shot dead in her car in the U.S. So this is a pretty sad, sad story. Um, a 24-year-old former Nigerian beauty queen, uh, her name is Najibat Suley. Uh, she's a, a PhD uh, student wow. and literally, I think she was second runner-up in the Miss Nigeria International Beauty Pageant. And she was shot dead gunpoint in her car, literally. I think it was even in front of her house because apparently her parents had the gun shot, um, saw the man running away from the car. But there's no motive, there's no cause they, the police hasn't been able to track anything or find anything um, and it's just sad because these are people who they only migrated from Nigeria apparently in the early 2000s so they're going for a better life um, and I think why this story hit me is because I've spoken to a lot of people recently you know all our different conversations mm -hmm. around migration and you know and this is just the sad reality that look you know insecurity in its different forms is everywhere in the world yeah. so you know wherever you are we're just alive by I, grace i, I know the funny thing what is worse abroad mm. insecurity in nigeria you can gauge your movement <laughs> no it's true you don't get it like you can yeah. actually literally like yeah. plan yourself mm. and of course god is god is yeah. on, on the yeah. throne but you see abroad I can just see you like this. Somebody's you just, just look at me. Yeah. I don't like you. Yeah. Somebody pulls out. And because they have access to guns Absolutely. and all of those things. So, Absolutely. you know, sometimes, yeah, I want to take my kids abroad. But again, I'm, you think I'm about still it. very scared. Yes. I mean, think look at that. I was once to remember the story in Dubai, the young boy in Dubai. Yeah. One, uh, that was an only child mm -hmm. for the woman, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I think Abike Dabri took up that story. That and all, but we don't even know how yeah. it eventually, well, whether they, do, do they arrested yeah. those people. I mean, that's the fear that a lot of people it, have. It is, and it's real. I, I mean, it's so many videos that we've seen. I think there was one NASA shared with me one day where a man and a woman were having an argument uh, in, in America. And a guy just walked in, came out, took a gun, and shot the woman and, and the man dead. So, I mean, it just goes to show that, look, security is a, is a global issue. Mm -hmm. um, and everywhere we are, we just have to really, really um, try to stay safe. So that was quite a, a sad one. Very sad one. Mm -hmm. Then the other story. Um, so the second one is Lagos State. Uh, and the headline there says, Songulu launches uh, body cameras for Lagos law enforcement officers. So um, this is interesting. Uh, the governor of... Um, 
the Lagos State Governor has launched body cameras for all Lagos State funded law enforcement officers, mm. um, which will, of course, if we're familiar with body cams, they wear them um, strapped to their was, uniforms. What was the name of that movie? Blue Ivy, I think? I watched the body cam movie. The, ah, oh, it was the body cam that eventually saved the police, police officer. Police officer, really? Yes. <laughs> well, so, I mean, they become pretty uh, common in, in other countries around the world. So I guess Lagos State is following suit. Um, and it, it will allow uh, for the capture of, you know, the activities of the police officers. I mean, when I read this, I thought, okay, this is nice. But again, in a country where there is hardly any follow through, there's hardly any retribution, particularly for you know people, individuals in these kind of roles. Um, I want to believe that it's a good initiative, but to me, it feels like smoke and mirrors. So I tell Is you it that the policeman that knows he will collect bread that will be a body cam. <laughs> so <laughs> who's tracking? You know, like you said again, it's laudable, but yeah. it, you know, its implementation is where if it I, always falls through. You need to go and look for that movie. Even the police, mm. they were looking for the footage, even abroad. So the body cam thing is actually a fantastic strategy mm -hmm. to curb all the excesses of police officers and people in law enforcement mm. agencies. But you see, like you rightly said, where is the follow through in Nigeria? Yeah. So if we cannot even survive in collecting bread and, and te stop technology it, wise as well, you yeah, know, so. right now you can be in traffic and your data goes off. I mean, mm. I don't know the technology behind it, if, if it's dependent on mm. data or things like that. But I just think, hmm. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so my story is actually quite interesting. Why I picked this story? Because um, I think about last month or so, mm -hmm. I was in the mood because the 2015 elections, mm -hmm. I lost my voters, card. voters registration card. So I couldn't vote in 2019 mm -hmm. and I want to vote in 2023. So I said, okay, let me go and go ahead of and just because I'd done the affidavit, everything, mm -hmm. but the process was too cumbersome. It so is. I couldn't make it to yeah. for 2019. So I went to the INEC office in Ogudu. Um, I got there. I kept on knocking. Uti, I knocked for like five minutes before somebody finally dragged himself and came to the office. And he now said, eh, no, they've not started anything, blah, blah, blah. That. I said, for goodness sake, do you guys always enjoy the fact that crowd yeah, the always come? Of and, you know, so when I saw this story, I thought it was quite mm -hmm. laudable mm -hmm. um, because they say that... Um, Recommencement of continuous voters registration nationwide. That is the press release that um, mm -hmm. the INEC office gave. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful to God that I am hoping that they follow through. Because policy. I'm wondering, these INEC officials, mm -hmm. do they not collect salaries? Even when they are not working. So what are they doing So what between? are they doing? You're just sitting. Yeah. I said the office was, I was hit banging, banging. the gate before yeah. the man came out. So what, part of the people, the list of people mm -hmm. that are expected to, you know, go and start Register. getting this, pre, yeah. Um, yeah, this registration are all Nigerians who are 18 of age and have never been registered mm -hmm. to vote. Any registered voters who has had any issues during accreditation in the previous elections mm -hmm. so that the commission can rectify the problem. Yeah. Then um, all registered voters who wish to transfer, you know, people like Location, me now. Location, you've got you know, to I'm transfer not, I'm not even bothering to do that because that's a long story. So what we'll do Abuja is that is during, during, uh, <laughs> during the election, we'll just go and sleep over in my sister's house and, in vote, there. and vote there. That's what yeah. we normally do. So the, the people that have relocated, to mm -hmm. they've, they've changed um, housings. Mm. And um, all registered voters who have lost, which is my category, who mm -hmm. have lost their PVCs or whose PVCs have been defaced or damaged. Mm -hmm. That's my category. And all registered voters who wish to correct um, information such as misspelling of names, and dates of birth mm. and all of those things. So these are the early people that they are asking, you know what, to come and come start out and start doing so. And right. by June, um, the date I think is June, um, um, June, what, what, what was that date again? Uh, I think from April 27th. Mm -hmm. No, 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 that's um, something around June though. It's okay. June I saw, I, I can't find, yeah, yeah. 28th of June, Monday okay. 28th of June okay. is going to start. That's when they're supposed to start. Yeah, so, so uh, well, I mean, yeah, good to start it early. Um, you know, we're encouraging Nigerians to exercise their civic duties and go and get their voters card. I know that it's a cumbersome process. I tell you that what we went through oh. in 2019 uh, or 2018, rather, to get it in time for 2019 was a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And I find that um, really and truly, the question you asked about whether these INEC officials are being paid all year round is a very valid question. This, this process should be a process where, okay, maybe six months to the window before the election or four months to the election, you can stop. But it should go on all year round, you That's know, whenever it, it is. So my, 
we need to even talk about it because if mm. they are paying them, what are you paying them for? What are they doing? Yeah. Do you understand? What yeah. are you collecting a salary for? You can mm. work all day, just like I walk into yeah. any office. So that you don't create get, this bottleneck, yes. that, you know, a couple of months. The or, same or thing should go for the NIM. Yeah. You don't have to wait and put it at a, you know, a uh -huh. speculated time. Stretch it. Just yeah. keep it open. It's just a good, walk into yeah. the office walk and do what you need to get do. It done. Absolutely, I agree. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we are going to take a break. We're going to be talking, hey, some bosses and their... Moms. <laughs> Stay with us, we'll be right back.